Good morning, class teachers and receiving schools. Good morning, Mrs. Watangas. How are you all this morning? We are very well, thank you, and how are you this morning? Very well, just like you, thank you. You may be seated. Now, uh, once again, we have a lesson on making our subject, making a living. We're still on the same strand and substrand. I'd like the class to tell us what the strand is and what the substrand is. What is our strand? Better, Better living. Our substrand? Making things. Now, our substrand says making things. So, in a previous lesson, we started actually on that uh, project that we are going to be working on, and we will be working on it again in this lesson. So, what is that? Uh, what is the project? Class together. Sewing a pillowcase. Thank you. Sewing a pillowcase. Now, in the previous lessons, we looked at um, the first um, stitch, first stitch that we learned making the samples to actually sew the opening to the pillowcase. And in this lesson, we will be going on to the next stitch. And that stitch is going to be, can somebody tell me what the stitch is going to be? Uh, Brendan? Back stitch, thank you, back stitch. Now, we have a question on the board. I'd like the class to read a question together. What is back stitch? Okay, I'd like someone to give us the answer to that question. What is back stitch? Messi, what is back stitch? A back stitch is a very strong stitch used to sew garments by. Very good. A strong stitch used to sew garments by hand. Thank you. Now we will once again look at the steps to sewing backstitch. And I will uh, be giving the papers out, the cards that have the steps, to some of our friends in the class. And we'll see how they are going to arrange the steps to backstitching. those cards in order of the correct steps to making or sewing back stitch. If you have the first one, first step I'd like you to come in, put your C and then we line up from there down. Second step. Okay. Let's have the third step. 
Ted. Salt. Okay, the last. Now I'd like the class to have a look at those uh, steps. If you think one of the steps is in the wrong place, if you think one of the steps is in the wrong place, uh, I'd like you to raise your hands and you can come and put it in the right place. Now, no hands up, that shows that our friends are all correct. So this is the step in actually doing the back stitch. Now, what does our activity say for us to do today? Class read together. Back stitch the right side door Okay, backstitch the right side raw edges. Now it says raw edges because when you put the two the two pieces of fabric together, you actually have two pieces of raw edges. Now I'll have um, Paul to come up with his uh, pillowcase. So we will go through the steps using his pillowcase so you can uh, follow that. If I can have Paul, please. Now, what does the first step say? Fold the fabric in half inside out. Okay, fold the fabric in half inside out. I'd like you all to do that. Fold it all down first, yeah. Okay. Fold your fabric in half inside out. Now, make sure, or before you can do anything else, we, our flap, the flap of the pillowcase is actually 17 centimeters. Now, for seam allowance, how many centimeters did we use? Two centimeters. We used two centimeters from that 17 centimeter for seam allowance, which means how many centimeters are left now? 15. So, from once you fold it into half, you hold, a, you hold a bottom one. Now once you fold it into half, then you measure the bottom piece of fabric 15 centimeters down, and you, the top piece of fabric, you bring it down, so you have it something like that, okay? The bottom piece of fabric the bottom one, the bottom piece of fabric is the one Paul is holding. Okay, you measure that 15 centimeters down, put a mark, and your top piece of fabric, put it where you have put the 15 centimeter line. Okay, you can do that. Let's see. You get ruler and do yours, so I will check your first. You should have it done now. Okay. Your ruler, you have yours there. Okay, the bottom one is the one you are doing. Bottom piece. Okay, yeah. The bottom piece. This one here. Fifteen centimeter. Yeah, something and we get a mark. Okay, so that's uh, 15 there. Now your mark is there. Another 15.
okay so your fabric the top one over here okay leave it like that have you done yours good thank you good you all have done yours that's nice inside out your fabric will be inside out did you see the first the first steps they fold the fabric in half inside out okay like uh, like it is done where is yours Lima? but i hope you for you see the steps we are going through okay let's see yours inside out 15 centimeters your ruler Okay, here yes, see. Okay, so we say your mark is here. Now that's okay. Your mark is there. Put this one over there. See? Okay, here. You see how I did um traces? That is how you do yours. Let's see yours. Good, you're okay. Good. Lay yeah, you lay your fabric flat on the it might, you might confuse yourself, so leave it like that. Turn this one around, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, good. 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 Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's go to the next step. Uh, Paul, if I can have you. What does the next step say? Let's all read together. Fold the flat down over the hold it, hold it. front piece. Okay, now you hold the front piece. This is the front piece. Please, I'd like everyone to watch. Observe, please. That's the front piece. You hold it. Now, second step says, Fold the flap over the front piece. So this flap here, we will fold it over. Can you all see that? Yes. This flap here, fold it over the front piece. I'd like you all to do that. Okay. Okay, you wait first when we go to the next step. Yeah. Over, over. It must come right over this see i'd like you to see the see where the top piece now the flap must go right see over this it must go right over this here good let's see hercules is still so hercules i hope you see good nice okay good good I hope you are seeing what's happening, so when you complete, you try to do this. Patricia, you okay? Put this one away so your desk will be free. Good. Bobby? Good, good. Okay, let's see. Good. You all got it right. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Lisa? Good. Let's see. No, no. Right down. Okay. You got yours done. Okay, good. Okay, good. Now, very good. Everyone has done that well. Let's look at the next step. Can I have all of us to read again? Step three. Okay, when you get your pins, that's the flap we have folded over. So what you do, you are going to pin over this flap. Okay, and when you were doing your measurement of the pattern, you were also asked to have one centimeter seam allowance done on your pattern, paper pattern. So you should have that already on your uh, pillowcase. Now, if you don't have enough pins, two will be enough. You 
शंकर पिंड का भाई इसी को फ्लैट चोर वन प्लेट इंडा वन प्लेट का भाई इसी थैंक यू Now, which side of the flap are you to pin down? <laughs> the left or the right? Which side of the um, pillowcase are we going to be working on? The right. the right. So you should be pinning down the right side. If you don't have enough pins, just the right side because uh, you will be working on that. If you don't have enough pins, just use one to pin down the flap, pin down the flap that you have uh, folded over. Okay, let's see what the next step says. Now, I'd like the class to read for us uh, what our last step. That is the last step to sewing backstitch or to doing backstitch on our pillowcase. I'd like the class to read that for us together. Backstitch along the pinned edge. Backstitch along the pinned edge, and it's going to be the right side of the pillowcase. Now listen, uh, class, you've already folded your flap, the flap of the pillowcase, over the top piece, and that's how it should look like. Then you pin the right side of the pillowcase. Now, to backstitch, to backstitch, you're going to start right up here where the folded flap is here and you sew from here 
all the way down to the end and you finish there. Okay? You sew from up here where the fold is and you are going to sew over the flap all the way down to the end where the folded uh, part of a pillowcase is.
Uh, if before we go to the next lesson, some um, activity, let's just look back at the steps in doing the actual backstitching of the side of a pillowcase. Now I'd like uh, Gail to tell us what is the first step? What is the first step to sewing the side of a pillowcase? What is the first step to backstitching the side of a pillowcase? What is the back, uh, first step to backstitching the side of a pillowcase? Okay, uh, we have someone from uh, Gail's group who would like to help, Gail, Jennifer. What is the first step to backstitching? What is the first step to backstitching the side of the pillowcase? Turn the material inside out. Now, so the first step is to turn the pillowcase inside out. Now, the second step, I'd like the class to um, give us the answer or give us the step, the second step. What is the second step? What, what is the second step? First step is to fold the fabric or the pillowcase inside out. The second step, So we have Rachel. Rachel, if you can come up here and give us the answer. I can't go with the word so. Maybe if I could have Rachel to tell us the, from the second step to the end. Um, fold the flap down over the front piece. Third step pin over the folded flap and along the side, one centimeter from the raw edge. Back stitch along the pink edge. Very good, thank you. So firstly, we fold the fabric or the pillowcase inside out. Second step, we fold the flap over the top piece. Third step, we, try, we pin along the sides of the pillowcase. And lastly, we backstitch the side of the pillowcase. Now, anyone will tell us what you think our next lesson is going to be? Our next lesson? Next lesson? Too long. Let's have you give us the answer. Or backstitch again. Or backstitch again. Now, our next lesson is uh, still on backstitching where we will be going on to the other side sewing of the other side of the pillowcase now with the resources we still have the same resources we are still using the home economics book one and uh, making a living teachers guide and the syllabus. Our key phrase, our key phrase is still on back stitching. Still on back stitching. Now, uh, with that, good morning, class. The receiving schools and teachers.